What's up guys, my name's OverlandBob96 and this is my tutorials channel, OVL Tutorials. So, I'm going to be showing you how to make a truck today, um, a lorry as shown with the one in the background here. Right, so the very start of the truck, if you get a, you need a black wall, you need stone slabs, you need quartz slabs, you need grey wool, you need light grey wool, grey stained glass, quartz stairs, cobblestone wall, and a button. So that's black wall, stone slab, quartz slab, grey wall, light grey wall, grey stained glass, quartz slabs, cobblestone wall, and a button. And then in your inventory, item frame, wooden trap door, sea lantern, and snow. So that's item frame, wooden trap door, sea lantern and snow. You haven't got that just yet, pause the video and just have a quick skim through, otherwise let's move on. Right, so if you place your black wool in the very point that you'd like the truck to be starting, it will come out by one after that, so black wool there, and then go one, two, second black wool on the third, one, two, second black wool again on the third, so you should have three blocks in a row, and then leave a one gap in the middle and then place another black wall next to each of them like that. You then want to come back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. On the twelfth block, place another black wall and then go one, two, and then place another black wall. And then same again, a one gap in the middle and then place one on the other side. Now time for the stone slabs. If you want to go straight down the middle, bring one like that, out like that. So you're just covering the front two, and then straight down the middle, you want to be coming all the way back. Sorry about that, all the way back. And then in line with the back one, and then you want to come out one, two, three. And then on the third one, place another stone slab as shown in the video, just on either side there. Uh, then we're going to build another stone slab row exactly on top of it. So that's not on those three, on the first one back after those three. And uh, then keep it all the way back. Keep it right the way back just before you get to that first tyre of the truck. So then you should have something that looks a little bit like that. The next thing to do is just place one grey wall there. And then actually don't do that, no. Um, we want a stone slab, if I can get one. There we go, yeah. Place a grey wall on top of the tyre. And then quartz slab, you want on the top of that, like so. And then so your quartz slab just there. So place a grey wall or anything on top of that tyre, and then a quartz slab. So that's just one above the second stone slab. Uh, then bring the quartz slabs all the way back along the top and that's going to mark the top of the truck. So then straight away back in line. So it starts one before the third tyre and comes all the way back to the three line there. You're then going to want to come two, three and then straight back up along the other side all the way back to there and then again just stopping before the third higher there for the cab and then you can do the truck whatever color you want i'm just choosing gray for this example there's black in the background as another example so then you're going to want to overhang by two blocks one and two past the quartz and then come bring that all the way back down along all the way back down just in line with there and then one two and then again sitting on top of the quartz all the way back down and along and then overhang it by two, bring it in one there. And I believe it is four, two, three, four. Yeah, so it's four high, one, two, three. So imagine it being creative mode, you build this so you can just come up by three, fill it up however you like, but it needs to be four height in total. So then we'll just do that. So once you've done this, um, there will be a door being built on the back of the lorry as well. This is again an optional extra, but I'll uh, show you that at the end of the video. So then just want to fill in this top bit. Right, so then you should have something that looks a little bit like that at the back. And then if you want to put a door, 
mark out two there for the door. Right, moving on to the cab. So I'm using light grey wool. Again, it's not compulsory, whatever colour you want. So that's going to come up by three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and one, two, three. Ignore me there. And then we're just going to ignore the door just for now. So we're going to come out by another three. And then two, three, and then on the other side. So you'd have something a little bit like that. And then you're going to want to do glass along there, just like that. And then you're going to want to put some stairs there, quartz stairs, and then quartz slabs along the top, like so. Come back to your quartz slab again in the very front, one either side, like so. And then a light grey wall or your chosen colour of choice on top of there. We'll put in all the detail on the front of that just very shortly. So now you want to grab the buttons and one along each side of the wheel. This just acts like your hubcaps, if you like. And then along there like so. And then along there. And I've just missed one block there. Right, there we go. So that's that bit there. We're just going to be moving on to the next part of the video. So now you have the inventory where you had the extra four things. So what we're just going to do is just get rid of those a second. And then we're just going to add the item frames, wooden trap door, sea lantern and the snow. So with the item frames, if you just place one on top of there, one on top of there, and then that will go in and mark for your lights with the trap door. Place one on top of there, just like so. And then if you get some signs as well, I'm just going to get rid of the snow for a second. And then we're going to grab a sign. And then that just kind of acts as the kind of the plates at the front, if you like. And then you can do that on the back as well. You can get the signs and place those there, there and there. And then item frames again, place them on the back there. Just going to grab some Red Bull as well. So I'm just going to clear my inventory. It's up to you if you'd like to do that or not. So we're going to grab the Red Wool. And then place those there and there. Also, we're going to grab the Iron Door as well. We'll need three of these. But if you're in creative mode, it won't matter. So just so I'm not going too fast. So you've got your item frames. You've placed those either side. You've got your red wool, you've placed those on the back like so. Again, just to make sure I haven't gone too fast, you've got the two item frames left and right on the front with the sea lanterns in the middle. You've then got the trap door on the front and then the signs down either side for whatever you like for the extra detail. Also, a little stage I've just missed out and I do apologise is with stone slabs as well. We're just going to bring those along here as well. So just with your tyres, the back one and the second for back one, just in the middle. And then straight down there along the side as well. And then on this side again, just in line with the first and second tyre. And then your second and third tyre. That will then free up the space here to put on the doors either side. If you like as well, you can grab a chair and you can place that in the middle but obviously you'd have to smash your glass and then you can place a chair there and then uh, if you want a little dash in there but that's entirely up to you so then going to be placing the iron door one on each side and then coming back to the snow I, if you've deleted it again if you cleared your inventory not the end of the world otherwise the snow you're going to want to place one two in the middle and then three four and five just there so you should have something a little bit like that and then it comes to having the exhaust pipes uh, coming up the back of the truck again I apologize if you cleared your inventory just to free up some space quickly so again one two three four and then on the other side one two three four if you then want to add a little bit of extra detail, you can just see in the distance there, we've got the brewing stand as well. That just acts as the clamp that will hold the trailer on if you want to place that in there. So then the front cab is now all completely finished. 
you've got your exhaust pipes on the back, you've got your truck, you've got your back door, and you've got your rear tail lights. So that concludes the video for today, guys, with the truck's toil. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please like. And thank you very much, and I'll see you